It's wonderful to welcome some 335 attendees, the largest participation rate since these conferences began in 2007. Furthermore, we're particularly pleased to note and to welcome the one-third of delegates with a disability. Seeing professional artists employed in their arts practice is the pinnacle of what we're working towards. The Arts Activated Conference is always a time for celebration and reflection. The conference is essentially uh, an opportunity for practitioners, for policy makers, for artists with disability, anybody who supports arts and disability and inclusive practice to come together and really discuss uh, the barriers, the achievements and the new directions that might be occurring in this area of work. I think the fact that we've had um, conversations at this conference about international collaborations is a sign that we're starting to look um, outwards. I think there's also some signs that we're starting to think more about not only what we can learn from our international, from international countries, but also what international countries, um, you know, overseas countries might have to learn from us. I think that a conference event like this changes the world in a, in a very positive way and enables maybe museums and galleries who work in locations where they feel quite small, maybe quite isolated and even quite unsupported to draw upon the example of what's happening at Tate. Joe Barron, it was very exciting to hear her speak about Unlimited in the UK and I thought that was really inspiring and I hope to be involved with whatever Unlimited does next. What is Unlimited? It's a UK-based commissions program supporting disabled artists across all art forms to make and to work. It's about power and control. We will never shift that cultural perspective that more disabled people are actually in positions of power and control themselves. And that takes, in order for someone else to take power, someone else has got to give up power. And so I suppose the other thing for me is, okay, who's ready to give up their power? and who's ready to really go forward and take that on. The conference showcases the many accomplishments of people with disability as artists, leaders, audience and advocates. So one of the things uh, I like about this conference, or, and the one, you know, I did the one a couple of years ago, was that it actually sold, it sells books and it gets your name out there. The understanding or the spirit of seeing a performer with any form of disability now is commonplace and the general public want to perceive and want to see that artist perform. One of the artists that we've been involved with, Carmen Bowditch, is just so eloquent and clear about the value of collaboration for us. And that is what we'd love to see come out of this conference too. A lot more chances for collaboration. And I guess that's the message I'm getting so far today. It's about connecting, creating, and collaborating and celebrating arts and support. So our vision is for a culturally ambitious nation to support the arts in a range of ways and respond to the needs of the arts sector. Today's announcement is part of the reforms that we're rolling out in the months and years ahead. I'm delighted to announce the Australian Council has committed $1 million spread over the next three years as dedicated funding to support artists with disability. together and network with other artists um, there are, you know to see role models it's really really encouraging yeah. but I guess I'd like to see the media uh, writing much more about the great work that disabled artists create my name is um, Tiffany Montas and I am from originally from Alice Springs probably wondering where the title 12 plus 3 comes from. It, it means that we worked with 12 individual artists and three supportive studios.
fantastic. There's been um, a lot of great feedback that we've had from the delegates so far. There's a lot of um, great buzz around the discussions and the conversations, especially in the sector at the moment. It's a really important time after Unlimited happening over in the UK last month. There's a lot of topical conversations, um, so it's a fantastic platform for us to continue those discussions in Australia.